CTO, cruising the Okanagan. I'm Anna Marie. I'm Ed. Today, Ed and I have taken a cruise into Tappan, BC, otherwise known as Rust Valley, where Vance and Carrie have invited us to the White Post Auto Museum and Antiques Mall. So buckle up, you're in for a treat, and you're on the road with CTO. This is Vance and Carrie from White Post Auto Museum and Antiques Mall. You know, I've loved, I love what you guys have done with it. Appreciate you know, I, I watched you guys open up the business and how you've grown. It's, you've taken a business that was virtually dead. Dead in the water for sure. No disrespect to the previous owners, but yeah, we, uh, it was like a hope and a, hope and a prayer. Let's try to make something out of something that was nothing. So here we are 10 years later and yeah, we got a good thing on the go. We see on history. <laughs> yeah, we're, gonna, we're definitely involved with Russ Valley. Yeah. Those boys were good friends with Mike and Avery. They're, we can basically consider them like family, so it's a good uh, separate working relationship. We're happy to have them in the area. And um, you were in dent repair. I was, uh, yeah. 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 Prior to taking over the museum, uh, definitely traveled down a few um, professions, if you will. Paintless dent repair was one of my main businesses in, in Vernon area. I was there for 12 years and then uh, I kind of got involved in uh, kind of my passion, a little bit more of my artwork, airbrush and pinstriping is kind of my other profession that I was rapidly pursuing. And then uh, there was a gentleman that was going to take over the auto museum and he was like, hey Vance, um, what about coming on board and kind of going in the back and kind of doing your thing? It would kind of complement what I'm going to do with the, with the museum. And I was like, great idea because we kind of moved back to this area. So long story short, he decided to jump ship on the venture. So me being a car guy and a gearhead, I was like, oh. Maybe I can make something work. So I uh, had the idea of the swap meet and the antique small to kind of complement uh, the business and help us through the seasonal aspect of it, right? So um, that's been good. There's two, um, two additions to the business that's really helped us keep, afo keep us afloat. So it's been good. Oh, that's great. Well, you can't help but notice the difference outside, like I, really I said. I really appreciate that. It's, yeah. And of course, the iconic white and uh, black car. 100%. I've yeah. been there since I was this tall. It's been a landmark. I mean, even, even uh, I grew up in Prince Edward Island. People from PEI know it. People from Vancouver Island know it, right? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, from tip to tip, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely an, uh, um, a landmark for sure. Carrie, here we are inside of the uh, Antique Museum Mall. You have everything under the sun in here and some. What are the favorites? Automotive stuff is obviously the favorite because yes. most people are attracted here for that. So the license plates, the signs, right. that kind of thing. Um, and then of course, uh, Coca-Cola, soda, Coca memorabilia, anything gas related. Yeah, I see looking at all your Shell signs, yeah. your Chevrolet signs up here. And of course, we have great swag here at White Post Auto Museum. Yes. We have t-shirts, hoodies, uh, beer koozies. A little of everything, like yep. I said. Vance, what do we have here sitting under the cherry tree? Well, this here is actually a 1938 Plymouth. Uh, kind of a cool story behind it. There's a gentleman that came through the muse museum one day and he's like, I'm a producer for this uh, up and coming series that's coming on, uh, it was, I think it was Amazon actually, it's called Man in the High Castle. And it was a depiction uh, if the Germans and Japan had won World War II. Yeah. And uh, so it was a pretty interesting series. And uh, they wanted this car for a scene that they actually lit it on fire. So I made him a price. I said, if, if you buy for this price, I'll give you a good deal on it, but I want the car back when you're done with it. So they, uh, they basically had it in the series and they had, did a scene. There's a mummy still in it that had been burnt, but they did like the scene where the car uh, engulfed in flames oh, and cool. people had died in it, but uh, yeah. And yeah, lo and behold, they called me up one day and said, hey, we're done with the car, come and get it. You've outlined a few things that you do, and there's, it's quite a bit. Uh, well, it's, it's the summer season. What do you got coming up? Uh, well, we got our fall swap meet coming up. Just mm -hmm. summer, we're basically hair straight back, just catering to the public, right? So, um, but yeah, we slow down in the, in the fall, and we have our fall swap meet. September 17th, should be a good one. 
Right. Well, Vance and Carrie, thank you so much for having CTO here today and sharing everything you have here. So until our next cruise, you're on the road with CTO.